Hey guys, today's video, I really wanted to focus on an eye tutorial with hooded eyes or this excess skin flap. You know what I'm saying? Because there's different types of hooded eyes. So I have the skin flap that actually, actually comes down and covers the top of the eyelid. So I wanted to kind of go into depth of how I deal with that and also use a new product. I'll just put the box back together because I've already tried to film this twice and I keep getting phone calls. <laughs> but I went into TJ Maxx the other day. I was totally going to film it, but once I got in there, it was very underwhelming and I thought this is not going to be interesting to anyone because it's not interesting to me. And But I did find uh, a couple of the Stila Glitter and Glow glitter eyeshadows. They had three shades. I only grabbed one. And it was a $7.99. I only grabbed one. And I got the Sunset Cove, which is this gorgeous, purpley, pink, iridescent shade. So today I thought I would use my Violet Boss palette. My face is already done pretty much, so we can skip totally through that and just focus on the eyes. So I'm going to go up into, let's turn this baby around. Thanks a lot, Tay. And I already have eye primer on. Let's kind of put a little something above, actually above my crease. So up here. This is my crease. Not this. This would be my crease because once that comes down, it covers up that. Now you can see it when I'm talking and kind of animated with my face, but when you have resting, you know, resting eyelids, gone. So this is just setting a little bit of, you know, something, a base for the next shadow to glide across and blend better. Okay, so this is a B-Stope. It's just a nice, thick, dense, kabuki kind of blending brush. And I'm going to be using these pinks over here. But for my transition, I'm going to go into the shade transition. And we're going to start that. This eye is more crepey than this eye. So that's another issue. Crepey skin, which means the skin wads up. And it causes like little skip lines. That's what I call it, skip lines. So... I don't pay attention to what I'm doing and I rush, I get those skip lines because I'm wadding that skin up with the brush. This eye doesn't do it nearly as much. And I'm just going right back over where I was. And once I get out here, I start kind of flicking it up. You want to raise that effect, that visual, visual, visual effect kind of up. You want to bring some lift to the eye. Normally, I bring it to about here. All right, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush and I'm going to grab the Morphe 433. This has become one of my favorite brushes because it's nice, it's fluffy, it's dense, it needs to be cleaned. And I'm going to come into Bestie. So we're getting a little bit deeper. You can tap off some excess. Now here is where I start in the corner and I give it a tap. And then I start to just fluff. And that brush is just barely touching my skin because I don't want it to wad up. And just fluff back and forth. So you're going to kind of stamp it, tap it, and then back and forth. You can do little circles. Once you have it on there, kind of blend it and start bringing it up if you want to. But just to lay down the color, I tap and then I fluff. And then you can do little circles to kind of blend. A friend of mine asked me, how do you blend it out? I don't, it's like I've tried and tried and I just get a mess. So that's what this video is for. This is for you. I'm going to keep getting darker. I'm going to go down into 
brownie points and I'm going to pick up just a hair of wine and dawn again same thing stamp this time I'm staying more in my actual crease my natural crease the darker I get the lower it comes down so just right here and again stamp wiggle circular motions and I'm keeping that middle of my eye and over And again, right now, those bristles are just barely caressing the skin. Just barely caressing. I'm just going to come into one and done. Tap and fluff. Tap and fluff. Because I don't want to really want to go dramatic today. I'm just going to run some errands. Tap. Wiggle. And then you can fluff. Kind of bring it in as far as you want to, but I'm staying about halfway. Just building color up. Okay, just the wine and dawn. Just staying right here. Now see, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm getting a little bit of a skip line right there, so I'm gonna clean my brush. And then I'm just going to come in and fluff. Blend. Blending that edge with the clean brush. And to clean my brushes, I have a switch I got for a couple bucks on Wish. It did take, you know, a good couple weeks to get to me. But, you know, it was a switch for a couple dollars and it works fine. All right, I'm going to come in with, this is the Morphe 330. It's a little more pointed. And I'm going to come in with, I'm still in Wine and Dawn, just on the very tip of that brush. And I'm staying right here, just right in that corner. Getting that V shape, and then you can fluff. Because I want that pink, purpley shade to really stand out. I'm gonna grab a shader brush. This is the vintage from the vintage set out of the Boxy Charm, and it is step one, so it's the biggest one. On fleek, looks like it would match, and I might pick up a little bit of cranberry splash and mix those. Looks like it would work well with that and I'm gonna do pretty much the whole center of the lid and leave the corner open and yes it does lay over a little bit of that corner outside V color I'll just go over that no biggie blend it together and then Da, da, da. Usually if I have the smaller brush that came with that, I'll grab it. This is an e.l.f. shader brush. I'm just going to grab that one and I'm going to go into So Jelly. And bring that right over top and blend them together. And I usually do bring this shade up a little bit corner shade I bring it up and I just again blend it right over into those other shades just like that okay I'm excited because I've never tried any of these I will do a little swatch on the back of the hand because I've not played with this yet this is the first time I've even opened it oh okay so I'm just oh, gonna put a little bit here Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going in a little more. A little bit more to the inside there. And then I'm just going to take my finger and pat. And yeah, I'm coming over to the corner and just pat, pat, pat. Yeah. <gasps> 
I am getting a little bit of glitter coming down on my face, but that looks like it'll just sweep away. Oh my gosh. That is pretty. Okay. I'm letting it dry on the back of my hand. Oh my gosh. A little bit more. A little bit more. Kind of just in the center. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to come back with that little elf brush. Clean it off really good. I'm going to go into crystal up here and just on the ends and just right here. And then just kind of blend that edge because you don't want just a stripe. You know what I'm saying? I kind of blend it down and soften that up oh forgive my hair it's just been a messy bun and a clip to clip my bangs i may go get it trimmed today and shaped up while i'm out and this is my favorite little round from luxie and i'm just going to come in with those shadows that i used and we're going to go under the eye no biggie I'm gonna go ahead and hit brownie points and just right out here clean it off really good I'm gonna come into floof and hit that inner corner and bring that down just a little mmm I like that. I really like that. Okay, I'm going to grab not you. What are you? Okay, this is the sex kitten liner. And just a little bit of black. And usually I just go about two thirds of the way over with the black. And actually on the top lid. I can find what I'm looking for. Probably buried down in here somewhere. No, not you. I want that. Well, we'll use this one, the architect. I was wanting the other one, the cover girl. But we we'll use this one. I just want a mirror. And I'm just going to barely. Do some liner on the top. Now when I do liner on top, this little tip is halfway on my lid and halfway on my lashes. So that keeps it really thin because if you do a really thick line, you're, the lid that you're gonna see, see what I'm saying? My eyelid is gone right there. It's gone. You can see a little bit out this way. So if you do a really thick line of liner, all you're going to see is a black line when you're like this. That's all you're going to see. So try to keep that line as thin as possible. Now, out on the corner, I will thicken it up just a little. And even add like a teeny tiny little flick right out here at this corner. But anything other than that, it'll get lost in the fold. If you try to do a wing, it'll get lost, completely lost. It'll just get lost in that fold. So just a teeny tiny bit of black liner there 
mm -mm -mm. eyelash curler. I'm going to sweep that glitter away here in just a minute that is on my skin. And I think this one deserves Lash Paradise. Let's go with that one. Okay, this is dried. So I wanted to show you. Yes, the glitter kind of moves a little bit, but it's not really going anywhere. The glitter moves. See what I'm saying? The glitter, it moves. But the actual shadow part is staying put. And here's what I'm talking about. You guys see that? Let me put it up against the white. See how gunky it gets around the, the the opening there when you pull the cap or pull it out at the the end of the tube. That's the only thing I do not like about this mascara is it gets really gunky with product on the end. And I think today I might deserve two coats because that is a very pretty pink eye look. Usually I just do one full coat and then I'll go back and just kind of get the ends. So there is that. Only thing left is lips and I think I might use a Jeffrey today. Which one are you? Calabasas. That's one of my favorites. Who ordered his brush set or his sponge set or both? Let me know. Pretty good. I'm a little off right there. And of course, I made it bigger than what it needed to be. So, before it dries, pick a little bit of that back up. All right. I might be a little crooked on the bottom, but you know, Shannon's always kind of off. That is it. That is how I do my eyes. It's very simple, very easy. Once you kind of get the hang of it, it's really easy. So if you have that same kind of issue where you have that skin flap that comes down and hides those beautiful eyes, you can still have a beautiful eyeshadow look. You can. Trust me. I'm just going to kind of blend what is on my face and... I did put on blush, but I don't really see that much of it. So we're going to do some more real fast. This is the Laura Geller Tropic Hues. One of my favorite blushes. Highlights. I think I'm just going to grab my Whispers of Guilt because it's just laying here. And I don't know, should I go more silvery since my eyes have a little more silver-ish tone? Grab this Naked Cosmetics since we're kind of, yeah. And I'm going to hit this this color right here. This kind of pinky purple. And let's see what. So I think that would match that glitter really pretty. And I'm not using this one that much. So that's using product I have. Ooh. That was a boxy charm too, wasn't it? All right, guys, that's it. I'm going to spray my face with some Milani Make It Dewy. And this sprayer is not that great. This came in one of those little Walmart sets, I think, maybe. It 
it's like you get a good mist at the top of the spray and a good mist at the bottom of the spray, but there's nothing through here. You know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of, <laughs> it smells really good though. That is it for this one, guys. I hope that helped you out. It was a little more detailed. How I mean, it's, it's super easy. Just practice, practice, practice. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Oh, one other thing. We're getting really close to Valentine's Day, and I'm also getting close to 1,000. So, I think we're going to hold off on Valentine's Day and just do the 1,000 and make it a little bit bigger. Does that sound better to you guys? Wait till the 1,000 and just make it a little bit bigger giveaway. Make it international. Let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.